Three, two, one. Three, two, That was so casual. <laughs> this is beautiful. Good job. All right, right. Three, two. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Ah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm good. I just gotta lay here. Well, I am currently in two pieces. I fractured my pelvis and my sacrum, and I have two hips right now, two separated hips. I get to uh, pee in the bottle and get to poo myself in bed. It's not very fun. Um, tomorrow is my surgery and I, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm really scared that I'm saying this is going to be the best thing for me if I want good quality of life. So I got to go ahead with the surgery. I, uh. feel guilty or I don't know if ashamed is the right word but I definitely feel misunderstood with um with this sport you know I feel like if this were gymnastics or skiing or snowboarding and someone were to go yeah I broke my I broke my pelvis uh snowboarding or skiing or whatever people immediately are like oh man that sucks yeah I understand that I it's people understand that but when you say yeah I broke my pelvis doing parkour I feel like people look at you differently look at you like you're an idiot or like you're reckless and kind of sucks that might just be my own judgment but That's how I feel at the moment. I'm uh, fearful that I won't be able to continue parkour. I'm fearful that I will. And uh, when I do, will I train at height again? Part of me wants to go back and do the same roof gap again. And I, I did it several times successfully. I just failed once and that's all it took to put me out but part of me wants to go back and do it again to prove to myself that shit happens it was a mishap and and ultimately I do have control over my body and I am capable of those things and I don't want the the fear to take hold of me I don't see myself quitting it I don't see how I could do that this is it means too much to me I've invested so much time and energy into it and it's given me so much too it's definitely given me more than 
then it's taken. At least I, I like to believe that. It's given me friends, it's given me memories, it's given me confidence, it's given me I guess kind of almost my identity. <laughs> um, but I'd be lying if I didn't say I was in a lot of pain and terrified. Pretty soon I'm gonna have almost eight inch long nails in my rear end and a large plate in my front end. But I guess everything happens for a reason, right? I'll, uh... Sucks, because I was making so much progress on the website and the brand and the video, and... I don't plan on stopping any of it. I'll just be on the sidelines for a while, and... Yeah, I guess everyone will get to see my journey from... Literally... Ground zero learning how to walk like a baby again, all the way to hopefully moving on top of rooftops again. But I wanted to make this video beforehand. Um, and then make another video tomorrow of how I feel after surgery and begin the journey, begin the, begin falling in love with the process. Wish me luck. Okay. Just want to be comfortable again. Uh, I'm so sick and tired of having medicine. I just got food, but not eating sounds good. And my stomach hurts from not eating. My stomach also hurts from not being able to poo. I don't want to eat. Uh, but I gotta eat. Oh, I'm about to pass out. Trying to talk to the video and document progress, and I just can't. Uh, I'd rather be uncomfortable like this right now than take more medication. I just the more I take, it feels so gross. All right. I don't even know where to, I don't know what to say, I just don't. Fuck. Okay, I had surgery. And I woke up after surgery. I shit a little pain. Um... I can't, I'm sorry, I'll try and document later.